KetterHeadCoach.com. Pre-chopper technique using Sohail Khan's unique instrument. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Pradeep Mohanta from West Bengal, India. Now, here's the cataract. Rex has been done. Hydro dissection delineation is done. Look at that chopper. Look at the design of it. Now, it's interesting in shape because the tip of it is sharp. It's meant to be pushed into the nucleus subincisionally and then moved towards the chopper. Now, notice carefully how the nucleus itself won't move. Two instruments come together that chops the cataract, and then you pull it apart and you split it, just like that. Let's watch again in slow motion here. So placement of the chopper is just inside the subincisional capsule rexus, and it goes into the nucleus. There it is. It's, in, it's holding one end of the endonucleus. The chopper goes around just inside that nasal capsule rexus, and then the two instruments are brought together, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. That's creating the propagation fault line. That's what's going to crack. And now when you pull it apart, you'll propagate that crack all the way through and get complete separation of the two halves. And now the nucleus can be rotated. You can see here, going back to normal speed. And it can be subdivided again. So this is a nice instrument to mechanically break the cataract nucleus into smaller pieces. And it works particularly well for this grade of nucleus, which is a moderate degree of nuclear sclerosis. And so no phaco energy is used, obviously. And by doing it, you're able to split the nucleus very safely in the capsule bag. But the key is the nucleus itself does not move. Don't use the chopper to push the nucleus around. No, instead the chopper is going to be used to divide the nucleus as the second instrument holds the eye still and holds the nucleus still. So now these pieces can be removed very easily. Looks like there are two quadrants and then one half that are still in the bag. And so you can separate the halves even more or the fragments even smaller pieces. There you go. You can see that fault line. We can separate it up, bring it up, and now it can be chopped with that Sinsky hook or other instrument if you need to or simply emulsify it. So I like this instrument design from Dr. Sohel Khan. I've not tried it myself yet but I look forward to trying it in upcoming cases, especially with my residents. I think it'd be very useful. Now we've shown here on cataractcoach.com many other techniques of splitting this nucleus with just mechanical means. We've seen the Akahoshi pre-chopper. We've seen using a femtosecond laser to divide the nucleus. We've seen Dr. Alex Abdo-Martins from Brazil who just simply uses the phaco probe on position one to just hold the nucleus and with zero phaco power splits it by placement of his chopper directly opposite the probe. And you've even seen me for a resin case use nothing more than a 27 gauge blunt cannula and a chopper in order to go and chop the cataract into small pieces so that my resident who's just at the beginning stages can go and learn to take the pieces out. So here now you see Dr. Mohanta removing the cortex using the phaco probe. That's an expert level. I don't recommend that for most surgeons. He has to be very skilled in order not to break the capsule bag. But you see he removed all the cortex with simply the phaco probe. He's going in here now with another cannula just to wash around a little bit to irrigate, to power wash that capsule bag, make sure it's nice and clean, and we'll put the lens in. So I wanted to show you this case. It's always fun to watch Dr. Mohanta operate. He's a very, very skilled surgeon. Let's see, he's going to now inflate the eye with that irrigator and then enlarge the incision a little bit. And let's see what type of lens we're going to put inside here. So lens coming up. And a lot of times, international surgeons who are outside the U.S. will have lens designs that we don't have here in the U.S. So let's see what we got today. So delivering our lens here. Looks like a single piece lens. Looks to be acrylic perhaps. Yeah, that looks acrylic. Leading haptic coming out nicely. There's the optic. And there's the trailing haptic. Looks pretty good going right in the capsule bag. So this is a, a single piece acrylic lens. Monofocal lens. Looks great. Getting it positioned nicely. And then the case is basically over. So remember, if you're doing a divide and conquer technique, time to graduate to stop and chop. And if you're at the stop and chop stage, it's time for you to graduate to phaco chop. Now either use traditional horizontal, vertical, or combo chop like we show you here, or learn to use one of these mechanical devices. 
You can use these devices to split your nucleus just to make your surgery far more efficient. Remember, most of the fake energy you put in the eye, you want that to be to remove quadrants, not to create quadrants. And the problem with divide and conquer is using most of that fake energy just to create the quadrants. So it's better for the patient, better for that coronal endothelium to minimize that phaco energy. Thanks for watching the video and check out cataractcoach.com. I know you love the YouTube videos, but check out the website cataractcoach.com. A lot easier to navigate. We have a complete list of articles and videos. You can go and check on any of these categories and explore more. You can also search. There's a search engine that's really effective. You can see Gore-Tex lenses like this. And finally, you can look up about me. There's a link that has my surgical instruments. Now you don't even have to ask me. You can just find out for yourself what's the name of those forceps.